COVID-19 Explained, what is it you want to know? The swabs are not painful, they're uncomfortable, they're not fun. I've had it done three times already, but they're important to protect all of us. The cost is subsidized at many clinics by the government, and if you get it done at the polyclinics, they're free. If you're feeling anxious and worried, first thing you need to know is this is quite normal. We're in the middle of a pandemic and this isolation, separation from your loved ones. There is help available. If you need some counseling and some advice, call the National Care Hotline at 1-800-202-6868. But if you're unwell, especially if you have symptoms of fever, cough, runny nose, breathlessness, loss of smell, go and see your general practitioner soon. They can give you the right advice and if necessary, do a COVID-19 test. Well, I don't know how you can drink with a mask still on. You have to lower it to drink, of course, but put it back on again when you're done. More importantly, if it's bubble tea, ask for less sugar, please. Uh, people my age, I think we're going for kopi o kosom instead. Well, we all like to go out and have makan with friends. And at a dining location, there's lots of people. They're eating, we're talking. And while we're doing this, we're expelling droplets. The longer we are doing this for, the greater the risk. It's how long you have your mask for, how long you are talking, and how many people you come into contact with. That's why we limit the number of people in the dining venue and we limit the number of people dining together at a table. Also important is to make sure you don't go and mingle from table to table. The mask, it's not just about on or off. It's how much time you spend without the mask. And especially if you're coughing or sneezing or talking or singing, you're expelling droplets. And that puts people at risk around you, including the service staff, the waiters, the cleaning staff, but also the other diners, even those that you're not eating with. The more time you wear the mask, the better you protect the people around you. The more that people around you wear a mask, the better protected you are. There are three different ways in which we protect ourselves here in Singapore. For the highest risk countries, when travelers come in, we ask them to serve out a 14-day stay-at-home notice or quarantine because their risk is much higher than here in Singapore. There are some countries where things are improving. And so for those countries, we ask them to serve out a seven-day stay-at-home notice, of course, with COVID-19 swabs. There are some places and numbers are pretty much the same as ours or even lower. The risk is low for travelers coming from those countries, about the same as going from Jurong to Congo. So for those, we just ask them to do a COVID-19 swab test when they arrive in Singapore. Well, safe entry with the QR codes is about where we have been, our locations. Trace Together is very different. It uses Bluetooth to check our proximity to other people. It's really about in case we are sick, who do we put at risk? It's about protecting our loved ones. Safe entry, where we've been. Trace Together, protecting our loved ones in terms of us passing COVID-19 on to them. So we need both to keep us all safe together.